Okay, history was definitely made tonight um, with Obama getting elected. Um, I know I didn't endorse a candidate. Um, I didn't know exactly who I was going to vote for. Uh, I was leaning towards Nader, but I said if Nader wasn't on my ballot, that I was going to vote probably for Obama. So, um, yeah, I voted for Obama. Um, if I keep going, um, it's because I've been up since 4 a.m. And right now it is after 1. So I've almost been up for 24 hours straight. So I'm a little bit tired, a little bit sleep deprived. Um, I, this is the first election I've ever voted in, at least presidential. Actually, the first time I've ever voted for anything. Um, so yeah. I had voter apathy. I felt that my vote didn't count. But somebody brought up a, a point to me that, you know, if I didn't vote, then I'm not ex exercising that right. And I'm giving that right, or I'm letting somebody else speak for me. And, um, you know, and I was always taught that you vote for somebody that best represents you. And, yeah, Nader would have represented me the best, but I just kept remembering what we went through within the last eight years with George Bush as president, and I just couldn't allow that to happen again, so I went with Obama, even though I could have voted for Barr, but I don't, I didn't like his platform, so I said, eh, I sure would rather see Obama in president, as president, excuse me, than um, McCain, so... That is why I voted for Obama. Um, you know, my qualms with Obama was that I felt that he was going to be all talk and no action. And so he's really going to have to prove himself, especially if he wants me to vote for him for a second term. And I think a lot of people will feel the same. I hope that he fulfills all the things that he's promised in uh, his campaign and in his speech tonight after it was announced that he won the election. Um, which was a really moving speech. It was really um, touching. Um, but at any rate, um, he did mention of a, a lady that was 106 years old, or 106 years, <laughs> I keep saying 106. It's not the proper way to say it, but whatever, y'all know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, you know, she was a, a black lady, and uh, when she was 18, or however it was at that time, to be able to vote, she couldn't. Not only because she was a woman, but because um, the color of her skin as well, um, and how she's seen things progress in America over the last century plus, and uh, my great-grandmother on my mother's side lived to be almost, no, she lived to be a, uh, a hundred and a half, and uh, she died right before the millennium, the changeover, the 2000. She died on uh, December 30th, 1999. She was born in, like, July of 1899. Anyways, so I, you know, and then she, I've talked, I talked to her a couple times before she passed, and the stories that she told was amazing, the stuff they went to, and even my other grandmothers, um, and the things they went through, like through the Great Depression, and, you know, different wars, and things like that, and it's really amazing, I love old people, um, but anyways, uh, kind of sidetracked, like I said, I've been up for almost 24 hours uh, you know but this night is going to go down in history um, and it's really awesome that I was able to be a part of it um, and to say that hey that's the person I voted for to if I do ever have kids which I'm kind of meh but uh, at any rate if I ever do have kids you know to be able to <laughs> tell that story to my kids and my grandkids um, be pretty cool, and, uh, it's awesome, but, um, 
you know, there's things that I'm sick of hearing, like uh, he's an antichrist and he's Muslim and all these stupid little things that people are saying about Obama. Um, you know, really, seriously, uh, whatever. But, you know, we'll just have to see. I mean, I, like I said, I hope he does well and he does what he says he's going to do. Um, he definitely has to prove himself. So we'll see. All right, that's it. Good night.